I'm Nathan Heck, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Texas. I've been a member of the court for more than 25 years, since January 1989, and Chief Justice since October of 2013. For a few minutes, I'll discuss the way uh, the court conducts its conference. I'm sitting in the conference room uh, as we are making this tape. The court's work is done <coughs> in chambers, uh, where researching, writing, reading uh, is done. Uh, also in the courtroom, where the court hears oral arguments, and in conference. In the courtroom, <coughs> the oral arguments are public. Uh, they are webcast, and we try to make those proceedings as transparent as possible. In this conference room, however, all that <coughs> happens is uh, very confidential. That is so that the judges may discuss among themselves uh, the cases, uh, uh, ask questions, uh, sometimes express doubts, uh, change positions, uh, go through in uh, all of the detail that uh, is desired, uh, the decisions that are being made uh, by the court. We try to proceed as efficiently as we can in conference, but our ultimate goal is to get uh, every case right. Um, <clears throat> conference is conducted about uh, once a month, although in June uh, we uh, meet for conference every week uh, so as to get as many opinions um, ready for issuance uh, before the uh, court takes a summer recess and before the end of the fiscal year in August. <clears throat> Each conference lasts uh, a day or two. An agenda is circulated beforehand, uh, listing the matters to be discussed. Usually there will be 12 or 15, sometimes more, opinions, um, drafts, dissents, uh, concurrences, uh, <clears throat> perhaps uh, research that has been done uh, on drafts that have been uh, circulated. Also on the agenda will be uh, usually more than 100 uh, petitions, uh, some of them on rehearing, uh, some of them uh, the subject of study memos done by the court's legal staff, um, some of them here for the first time. Uh, it is expected that every justice uh, will be fully prepared for conference, ready to discuss all of the matters on the agenda uh, in um, detail. Uh, we prepare for conference different ways. I, uh, I prepare electronically. Um, I have my iPad here today, uh, but I usually bring my laptop uh, to conference. It has my notes uh, from my review of opinions, uh, questions I may want to ask uh, the writer. Uh, it has notes on the petitions to be discussed. It has study memos and briefs that have been circulated, uh, all of the materials I need. Others uh, prepare different ways. Uh, some bring the paper files to conference. Uh, almost all of us have notes uh, that we have taken on drafts and petitions. Uh, but as I say, the uh, expectation is that every judge will be fully prepared um, to discuss all of the cases uh, that are listed. The discussions at this conference table are intense. Um, they are in-depth. Um, they are always civil, uh, more than civil. They are respectful. Um, there is a degree of formality, but a degree of uh, cordiality as well as you might expect on a collegial court. We um, uh, refer to one another um, uh, not by uh, first names so that the discussion will remain um, uh, uh, directed toward the issues uh, that are uh, that have been uh, raised. We seat at the we sit at the conference table in order of seniority. The senior justice uh, sits on my right, <coughs> the next senior justice uh, sits on my left and so on rotating down the table uh, just as we sit on the bench. But this is one of the few things that we do uh, in which we do not proceed by order of seniority. Uh, rather, uh, on opinions, the um, author uh, will speak first, uh, and um, if there has been a subsequent ri uh, writer, uh, that author will speak first. Uh, when the authors have had an opportunity uh, to set out their writings, uh, and to point out uh, aspects of them 
that they, they, might, they may wish to direct attention to. Then the court goes around uh, the room counterclockwise uh, so that sometimes the senior justices will speak first, sometimes the junior justices will speak first, uh, but there will be um, a, a formal order, uh, but not in order of uh, seniority. Um, the uh, law clerks and the court's legal staff, staff attorneys, uh, are seated around the room. Uh, as far as we are aware, uh, this court is one of, uh, it may be the only one in the United States uh, at this level where um, the legal staff is permitted to uh, uh, watch the conference and also sometimes participate. Judges may have questions of law clerks uh, who have worked on a case, questions about the record, questions about the argument or the research, uh, and uh, the law clerks may be asked um, to answer those questions as we are sitting here uh, in conference. Um, we start with uh, preliminaries and um, uh, usually emergency matters, mandamuses, sometimes habeas petitions. Uh, the um, staff attorney who is uh, responsible for presenting uh, that particular case will lay out uh, the state of the case, the issues that are involved and make a recommendation uh, as to uh, any action to be taken by the court. Uh, the court will then discuss those and when the um, uh, preliminary emergency items have been completed, the court will move on to cases that have been argued. Uh, we refer to those as uh, post-submission discussions. Uh, in those cases, the judge uh, who is assigned the uh, responsibility for the preparation of the principal opinion in the case will be asked to speak first and to set out uh, his or he, her views of the case. Uh, and then, as I say, we'll go around the room uh, counterclockwise, each judge uh, stating uh, 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 his or her position uh, on the case. When we have finished the cases that have been uh, orally argued, uh, then we move to uh, cases in which there are drafts of opinions, uh, starting with the oldest case first. Uh, as I uh, said, the author, uh, the authors uh, will be uh, asked to speak first, uh, and then we'll go around the room uh, and uh, discuss the case as much as, uh, as any justice likes. Um, these discussions are fervent. Uh, they are uh, uh, directed at the, at the details of the analysis. Uh, every effort is made to probe uh, the reasoning and the explanations uh, in the opinions uh, so that uh, when we're finished, uh, we will have confidence that uh, the opinions uh, truly express uh, the decision of, of the court. And then after we finish um, the uh, opinions and any rehearings uh, on the opinions, we'll turn to the petitions um, that have been listed on the agenda for discussion. Um, besides the agenda, the court will have received uh, a list of all of the votes uh, on the petitions uh, up until the, the, the conference. Uh, justices will have had uh, several weeks in which to review the petitions, vote on them electronically. Uh, those votes are uh, gathered by the uh, staff uh, and the list is circulated to the, uh, uh, to the court just before conference. Uh, it takes one vote to discuss a uh, petition, so any justice who uh, wants a petition discussed uh, may ask that um, it be listed on the court's agenda. It takes uh, three votes uh, to request the parties to submit full briefing uh, on the case, uh, and in those cases the legal staff will be asked to uh, prepare a study memo uh, analyzing the uh, issues raised and making a recommendation uh, for the disposition. Um, uh, finally, it takes four votes uh, to uh, grant, to hear argument in petitions for review, and five votes to hear argument in uh, mandamus or other uh, special writ cases. Um, and so uh, we uh, simply begin uh, with the oldest uh, pending petition and um, 
I will look at the votes and see who has expressed the most interest in the, uh, in the petition, call on that uh, uh, justice to um, uh, explain uh, the interest in the case, and then we will discuss uh, the petition uh, until the justices are ready to uh, vote. Uh, most of us um, bring notes to conference to try to uh, remind ourselves uh, of the uh, petitions. A hundred is a lot to discuss. Um, it takes uh, uh, usually several hours uh, to finish the uh, petition list uh, and um, then that will conclude the conference. Uh, after the conference, uh, uh, usually on Monday or Tuesday, uh, then the rest of the week will be spent uh, preparing orders reflecting the court's decision uh, decisions in the cases uh, for issuance on Friday. For the most part, the court has conducted conference uh, the same way uh, in the 25 years I've been here, and uh, so far as I know, uh, for decades uh, before that. Uh, we are now more reliant on technology uh, to uh, list the cases for conference, uh, to make it possible for us to have access to briefs, uh, study memos and other materials uh, for conference and uh, for some of us uh, to bring uh, the, uh, those to conference uh, on uh, 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 laptop computers. Uh, so in that respect uh, it has changed but um, in other respects uh, it has remained the same. And it is always my hope uh, that uh, while the conference uh, cannot be public uh, that the legal staff uh, who are present and uh, who witness it uh, throughout the year uh, can be proud of the work that they do for the court and that the court does uh, through its conference.